Howdy, sports fans. Are you good? Good. Now, I know Crusader Kings 3 has a lot of different ways to make money. You can get them from holdings and extorting your vassals, all kind of things. There's one way I found that you can get money really stupidly easy. So easily that I'm pretty sure it's broken. The first thing you want to do is to choose the stewardship lifestyle for your character. Now, it doesn't matter if they are not very good at stewardship itself, because... You, it's the, one of the first ones on the left. Anyone can do this, apart from if your character is compassionate, uh, in which case they all get very high stress from even trying to do this, in which case you might just want to <laughs> just get to the next air and try this instead. So the first thing you want to do, one of the very first things you want to do when you start as a character is to choose the Golden Obligations perk under the Avaricious Tree. So what Golden Obligations does is that it allows you to uh, sell your hooks that you have on any character for quite a lot of money. At times I've had upwards of 300 gold. I think it depends on how good your uh, spy master is, as well as how good your steward is. So the richer the person the more money you'll be able to get out of them so to find uh, a hook on someone you either get them through random events or you know other stuff but the best way to get them i found is to go to your council and then select a select find secrets under your spy master and now you've got loads of different places where you can send them but the best place i found is somewhere really affluent with loads of money um, i've pretty much extorted all of these people <laughs> over the course of my time as you can see that's why i've got so much money here and that money just keeps on topping up and up and up especially if you find a strong hook so what i'm going to do i'm going to go down here which i have not uh uh, blackmail to the point of destitution just yet and I'm going to put them in uh, Emir this guy's court and see what they can come up with so I've already been doing this quite a lot so if you go to intrigue hooks and secrets here's where you can find everything that you need uh, to sell these hooks so if you go blackmail for a hook blackmail there's always a chance that it won't work uh, but usually it does so if I blackmail them there and then fast forward a little bit so I've got a strong hook on her, which means with a strong hook, I can just keep on selling the hook back to her over time for years and years and years. Obviously, the better the um, person you have a hook on, the more prestigious they are, the more money they'll give you. I don't think this one will be able to know. They don't have enough gold. But with some of the bigger ones, uh, like a king or a courtier, they'll give you, not a courtier, like a duke or something, they'll give you hundreds of coins at a time. So what I've done here is I've actually gone and found a secret for this guy, Emir. So that's, I know that's not his name, but uh, that's his title, but you know, just, just, let, just let me have it. So we go and accept it. Uh, because he is a naughty murderer um, So we'll click that off and now you can see here that we have a hook a murder secret Which we can go then and blackmail him and he will of course accept it because it's a very strong hook And he has tried to murder a person not very cool So we go and blackmail him and then we you can see we've got a weak hook on him So with that we should then be able to demand payment well, when he has enough gold, he can do it. Basically, I've extorted everyone in the world. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and find someone who I've not um, put into poverty for extorting them in the past and then show you how much money you can kind of earn from it. Right, so finally, after all this time, I found someone who has enough money to give to me. Honestly, it's every time before it's worked easier than this. Uh, I've just been looking in the wrong places for the purpose of this guide. So this guy, well, yep, yeah, this guy has enough money to give to me so he has 141 out of a possible 200 so every time you extort someone like this or blackmail them or try and sell their secrets back to them via golden ob obligations you can get about 200 gold depending on how good your council is and how good the rest of your stats and counselors are so go, go ahead and and this is a strong hook as well so i can repeatedly keep selling his his own hook back to him over the years and years and years so do that, and there you go. That's an easy 141 coins right there. And that's all there is to it, really. It's as simple as that. Uh, with a good spy master, sending them out across different places, across Europe and elsewhere, and even within your own court sometimes, you can rack up quite a lot of money. So I hope this helps. And if it did, be sure to let me know down below. As well as that, if you have any other good money-making schemes, be sure to let me know, repeat myself. But anyway, thanks for watching.